Hi, hey, it's Sexy J, quick and dirty time. Another round of English or writing, depending on the test you're taking, because you guys asked for it, so I'm delivering. Okay, so this one is the, technically it's the subject uh, verb agreement, singular plural, but there are a lot of videos out there on that, on the grammar, so I'm gonna go over that really quickly, and I'm gonna get to the main point I want you guys to get, which is how do I recognize that it's that type of question, or how do I know, like, almost 100% that I'll never miss this type of question, okay? so. So I'll go over the grammar real quick. It's not that exciting. So I'll do that right now. So you see here, the subject is students, okay? And SAT, ACT, they do this all the time. The subject is like here. They put in distracting stuff here and the actual verb, right? So students, blah, 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 some nonsense in the middle, okay? And then we have the word college right in front of the verb. So if you read it quickly, which a lot of people do on these tests, if you go, college has scored. Okay, that sounds okay, college has. But the actual subject was students. So can you say students has? I mean, you could talk like that, that's fine, I don't judge, but on these tests, you do students have, because that's the plural, okay? So that's the grammar, it's not that bad, but again, the point is, when I do these things, I notice so many students score lower their than their potential, because they miss out, they're like, oh, I didn't think of that, okay? What's well, an easy, easy way, guys? Look at these answer choices. So the no change here, this is singular, okay? Answer choice B is plural. My handwriting is getting even worse, I didn't know that was possible. Answer choice C is also singular. Answer choice D, the ing, that's, that's just wrong, okay? It's not singular or plural. So if I have the case that I have two singular, one plural, it's the plural. For this, I'm confident enough at my, you know, private teaching, my public teaching, at my day job, whatever. I'm like, guys, if I get this wrong, I will get buy you guys all tacos. I don't really care what it is. I don't need to look at the passage here. Well, I would need to know that this says, you know, has scored, right? But long as I have these answer choices, I don't care at all about what the passage actually said. So if I have has scored, singular, have scored, plural, scores, singular, it's the one that sticks out, okay? And I'll give you the reasoning for that just so, well, you guys already believe me, right? But this is the um, reasoning for it. SAT and ACT, they're much, 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 much less likely to test you on the tenses. So if the issue was, have, do I have to pick have scored versus scores? That's a very much more of a rare question. What is much more likely is it doesn't matter whether it's have scored or scored. It's just singular plural. That's just a trend that you guys can look up the data. Singular plural is the most common type of this type of question. So singular plural, singular. So it's the one that sticks out as plural. And obviously the other way around would also work as well. Okay. So in singular plural, if all the answer choices are one thing, you pick the one answer that's the other thing. Okay. So I don't need to be reading through the paragraph, especially with like all the distractions they try to put in. I don't need all of that. The answer here is B. Again, if I had a class of 30 students, I'd be like, I'll buy you guys all tacos if I'm wrong on this. And I you know, never have to buy them tacos. And I'll buy them tacos if, like, if I just want them to have them, but I've never lost this bet in my life. And I'm pretty old now. Okay, I'm not that old. So um, that's the tip for today, guys. So that's the grammar tip. Not even the grammar tip, that's the test taking tip, guys. If one answer choice seems suspiciously different from the others, that's probably the answer. It's also applies for ACT science, but that's going to be the next video. So you guys are going to have to tune in again. Study every day with Sexy J. Let me know, please, in the comments, whatever you guys want to see covered, and I'll get right on it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.